God says, grading my child, life will not always be the same, I will. Come again, today I want you to rejoice in victory, I will lead you and will give you the victory. You will not destroy, so if you have faith in God, please watch this video till the end. Dear child, in the midst of life's challenges, it's natural to find it difficult to trust God, however. He encourages us not to succumb to doubt. Reflecting on Peter's experience walking on water, we see that when he focused on the storm, fear overcame his faith. Similarly, in our lives, storms may rise, diverting our attention from God's guidance in those moments. It's crucial not to let the storms overshadow our trust in Him. God is forever faithful to His promises, and we must remember this unwavering love instead of fixating on the storms. We are called to center our focus on God, putting our faith in His plan for us, knowing that His divine purpose will lead us through whatever challenges we encounter. Subscriber to our channel and grow our community. In Timothy 3 to 1, for says in the future days, be aware that there will be challenging times. People will exhibit self-centeredness, greed, arrogance, disrespect, disobedience to parents, ingratitude, lack of kindness, and willingness to forgive, spreading of false information, lack of self-restraint, cruelty, indifference to goodness, betrayal, impulsive behavior, and prioritizing pleasure over devotion to a higher purpose. Here are four things God wishes you to recognize this today. 1. God is running for your life right now. Type thanks you God if you believe. 2. Know that no weapon fashioned toward you shall prosper and each tongue that rises up toward you fail. 3. Today is a new day. God is about to do some thing new in your existence. 4. This weekend could be filled with blessings breakthroughs and full recoveries in Jesus' call, Amen. Type instead, God is my power, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing Super Thanks Up to $20. Share this powerful message's 10 people who is closest to your heart. Dear God, in moments of despair and thoughts of giving up, please gently remind me of your ever-watchful presence. I sometimes forget that I am not alone and attempt to navigate life on my own, seeking to figure everything out by myself. But I humbly acknowledge that I cannot do anything alone. It is only through you that I can accomplish all things. Your guidance and strength are what I need to overcome challenges and persevere through difficult times. Please help me remember that you are by my side, supporting me every step of the way. With you as my companion, I find courage and hope to face any adversity. Thank you for being my constant source of inspiration and comfort. Amen. God says, type Amen if you accept me grace. Dear child, Nessie's today reminds us to trust in his divine timing and plan for our lives. Just as Joseph prayed for his release from jail, God had a greater purpose in mind, making him a governor through interpreting Pharaoh's dream. Similarly, there may be situations where we seek a way out but it might not be the right time or place for God to open that door. During times of waiting, we are encouraged to have faith and remember that God has a bigger, more extraordinary blessing prepared for us. 
Impatience or trying to force our own path can lead to missed opportunities and hinder the fulfillment of his plans. Instead, we should patiently trust in God's guidance, knowing that he knows where he is leading us. Type Amen if you believe. Listen this carefully. Having faith and waiting on God's timing does not mean wasting our lives. Rather, it ensures that we receive the blessings he has specifically designed for us. So let us embrace the journey with hope and confidence, knowing that the best blessings lie ahead beyond our expectations. God says, do now not cross again toward vintage ways. Toxic habits, humans, and strength continually treat or return while you are doing higher. Stay centered. Type yes if you think God is my savior. God says today, do not fear the unknown or the uncertainties ahead. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Your life is in my hands and I have planned it intricately. Trust in my divine timing and surrender your worries and anxieties to me. My expensive child, I need you to understand that I am with you. In each season of existence, in times of pleasure, I rejoice with you in times of sorrow. I preserve you shut. I apprehend your heart and the struggles you face. Trust in me, for I am your refuge and strength. When you feel susceptible, I can be your supply of energy. When you experience loss, I will guide you. When you feel discouraged, I will lift you up. You aren't alone, for I am your aspect. God says, type yes if you praise my name. My beloved child, I want to emphasize the significance of new beginnings in each moment. I present you with the opportunity for a fresh start, allowing you to leave the past behind and venture into a future full of hope and possibilities. Embrace the beauty of these new beginnings as they mirror my grace and mercy, regardless of your past experiences or actions. I extend my hand to uplift and guide you forward. If you desire miracles, watch this video all the way through to the end. But remember this, there will be challenging times in the last days. People will be self-centered, driven by greed, boastful, arrogant, disrespectful to their parents, ungrateful, lacking in holiness and love, unwilling to forgive, spreading slander, lacking self-control, showing brutality, not valuing goodness, deceitful, impulsive, filled with conceit, and prioritizing pleasure over love for God to Timothy 3 to 1-4. August is the month where your life changes for the better. I declare that your business will thrive, your finances will grow, and your health will improve. In Jesus' mighty name, God says you're about to embark on a new narrative very soon, one filled with healing, success, good health, abundance, prosperity, love, happiness, peace, and immense joy. You'll emerge stronger, wiser, and brimming with life, sharing all the blessings you receive and passing on the wisdom gained along the way. Type Amen and like the video if you love the God, and also subscribe for more God messages.